Everybody halt! Carpenter? What happened? Carpenter, hey, Carpenter. It had red eyes. A, a monster. Huh? <laughs> there he is! Sound the alarm! After him! He's heading for Traitor's Gate! You're supposed to be in shape! Move! Well? Nothing, sir! There's no one here! Down here! Huh? Get down here now! Look! The crown jewels! Follow me! Over there! Oh no, the crown! It's gone! Sir, look up there! Look at that! A yellow brand! Hmm, it must hook in somewhere. Hmm. Good evening. Hmm. With you in a jiffy, old chap. Feeling testy? Have you seen the papers? I haven't had time. Well, make time. The crown's been stolen. I must admit, this yellow brand chappy goes for the high-profile loot. Doesn't he just... the Prime Minister's furious. I'm not surprised. First, the Turner disappears from the Tate Gallery. Then they pulled off that bomb scare last week. He's facing stormy seas in Parliament. Yes, I'm sure. So what does he decide to do? Tells you to clean up the mess. Precisely. But how did you guess? My dear lad, I simply took one look at your face. Mm. You might be able to help me on this case. Maybe. Yellow Brand is obviously a maniac with something to prove. I quite agree. I mean, why steal the crown of England? Who could you sell it to? This is just a vulgar stunt. Yes, pinching Her Majesty's crown shows a certain lack of tact. And painting that silly graffiti on the wall. How childish. I have it, of course! Well, uh, what do you have, Philip? I knew it must be the hydrogen bonding. That's it. Matron told me to sterilize the scalpel, so I did. Yes. Then she breathing fire. I dropped my needle. Good night, Doctor Verney. Good night, Miss Collins. Good night, Doctor Septimus. Good night, Septimus. Good night, Verney. Night, Sergeant. Sir? No! No! <gasps> what the? Oh no! This will make the front page for sure. Got it. Now then, Philip, allow me to introduce Inspector Kendall of Scotland Yard. Glad to meet you, sir. It's always a pleasure to work with the Yard. Now, Kendall, how far have we got? Well, sir, I have followed Dr. Verney's movements very carefully. Left the hospital at 11.45, met Sergeant McMurphy on his beat near the British Museum around midnight, disappeared less than a minute later into thin air. No witnesses, no trace. All we could find was his hat. No ransom demand, no clues, except for that confounded yellow scribble. Hmm, but why would he kidnap Verne? It makes no sense psychologically. I don't believe in psychology. So if I may... By all means. Hostile, very hostile. He's a good officer. Put yourself in his place. Yes, sir. This was his case, and the Prime Minister orders. sent in the Secret what? Service. And that's why he's a bit hostile. Huh? Oh. He says he Come needs to meet... Come up there to Tarnum, fourth floor. Right away. Just tell me where, okay? I'll be there. Dynamite front page, isn't it, boss? You just stop patting yourselves on the back and get down to work. Boss, I was just... 
I don't get it. Why isn't he pleased about the story? Well, what's biting him? I don't know. It'll double our circulation, and he's like a bear with a boil. Get me Calvin at the courthouse. Yes, sir. Judge Calvin on line two, sir. Calvin? Hello, Macomber. Never mind the small talk. Did you hear about... Bernie? Yes, I did. Be careful, Calvin. Careful? Why should I be careful? I think someone's after you. I think someone's gunning for both of us. Why do you think that? The Wade case. The Wade case? Can you prove it? Of course not. I'm relying on my nose for news, and there are too many coincidences. I have to go. Take care, please. Take care. <sighs> To whom it may concern. That's all I know, but I swear it's true. There. What? What was that? There. Now. Oh, I must be imagining things. What on earth? Hey! Sir, are you all right? Mr. McComber, where are you? What happened? The yellow brand. Well, poor old McComber. Now he'll boost our circulation. No fire escapes, no ledges. How did he break in? And then disappear with McComber under his arm. I'm totally baffled. No human being could pull off a stunt like this. Quite right. So what kind of being are we dealing with? That's the question. What do you mean by that? Do you think... I don't know at all, but it makes me wonder. I don't know why he was in such a foul mood. This thing has more than doubled our circulation. Maybe he had other things on his mind. I think he was afraid. Afraid, eh? Then he must have known something. Here's Miss Webster, sir. Ah, Miss Webster, is it true that McComber telephoned Judge Calvin late last night? Yes, Captain. That was the last call he made before. Oh, it's horrible. Poor Mr. McComber. It's a nightmare. Thanks. Uh, Miss Webster, may I ask you a question that's a bit awkward? Yes. We badly need a lead. Sometimes people, purely by accident, of, of course. <clears throat> Did you happen to listen in on the conversation between McComber and the judge? Of course I didn't. What do you take me for? Oh, come on, Captain. She'd never do a thing like that. Pity. If there's nothing further... No, that's all. Thank you. May I go too, then, Captain? Now what? What say we pay a visit to Mr. Justice Kelvin? Radio. Yes, McComber called me last night. And what did he say? He was worried. Did he sound frightened? Oh, possibly. Of what? He must have told you. Actually, he didn't. He was very vague indeed. Why did he call you, sir? We've been friends for years. Now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I have some work to do. We are most grateful for your cooperation, my lord. Your testimony is priceless, I assure you. <clears throat> the old fool's lying through his teeth. Yes, but why? He's afraid. He knows something, but if he won't tell us, what can we do? What possible link could there be between Verne and McComber and Calvin and the yellow brand? It's beginning to smell like revenge to me. I wish I knew why he uses that sign. Pardon? That yellow brand. The letter mu in Greek. It must mean something. Ah, here's our stop. By the tartan of Clan McGregor! What's wrong? He's put his mark on your back. I say. It could be any one of them. Unless he got off three stops back. He's toying with us. Yes, but now we know we're barking up the right tree. I suppose that's true. 
for what it's worth. Well, from now on, I get around in police cars. And let the bus system go broke? I'm going to arrange for a guard for Calvin, whether he likes it or not. Coming. I'll head back to the Daily Mail. I want to take a look at the back issues. As you please. Nothing to report, Captain. Good. With Kendall on duty, the judge will come to no harm. Problem, Inspector? Uh, I heard a noise. My dear man, a log fell out of the grate. Yes, of course. I see. Sorry I intruded. No, nothing there. September 53. Thank you, Mr. Stone. Found it, unless I'm much mistaken. Look here, Verney, Macomber, and Calvin, all in the same boat. Scenes of high drama today in the notorious John Wade case. The publisher of Wade's book, The Mega Wave, loses the libel suit he brought against Dr. Robert Verney and Leslie Macomber, editor of the Daily Mail. When Mr. Justice Calvin passed judgment, the publisher suffered a heart attack and died. Taking one's work to heart is all very well, but there are limits. The Daily Mail had published an article by Dr. Verney in which he wrote that Wade's book was a mishmash produced by an inferior mind relying on non-existent research. Indeed, quite withering. Dr. Septimus was the only scientist to defend the book. I must have a chat with this Septimus. Do you remember that case, Stone? Certainly. It was a cause celebre at the time. Tell me about this John Wade. I can't. That was a pseudonym. No one knew who he was. Naturally, otherwise it would be too easy. Where could I lay hands on a copy of his book? I wouldn't even know where to start looking. All the copies were removed from circulation after the trial. It's been out of print for years. I see. Maybe a second-hand bookstore. Yes. And who is this Dr. Septimus? I think he's a psychiatrist at Royal College Hospital. Royal College? That's Verne's hospital, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Well, well. Oh! Calvin! Calvin? Yes, I noticed that all the kidnapped victims had been deeply involved in the Wade trial, and of course I was worried. Then why didn't you get in touch with us instead of waiting until we came to you? Because I wasn't sure. And besides, Calvin only disappeared last night. Thanks. Thank you. What do you think of Wade's book? You defended it at the trial. Yes, I did. And rightly so. The man's a genius. He's years ahead of his time. But genius has always frightened petty minds. Petty minds like Vernay and Macomber? Perhaps petty is too strong a word, but I can assure you that they're woefully conventional. Like Calvin, who's been kidnapped too? <laughs> Poor man, I saw it in the paper. Do you know the author? Wait, no. I hope you know you're taking a big risk, Doctor. What do you mean? I'm only saying what you said yourself. All the people involved in that trial are disappearing, one by one. But. But I defended the book, as you know. So you think the author is out for revenge, and because you stood up for him, he won't touch you? Of course he won't. Look what I found. The Mega Wave. So you have a copy? Uh, certainly. The publisher sent it to me when I testified as an expert witness. Naturally. May I borrow it? If you like. He's obviously hiding something. Just like Calvin, he's too afraid to talk to us. Hey, that's it. What else could it no, be? No, look at this. 
I never liked math. Forget the math. Look at that. The yellow brand. Right, laddie, an M in Greek. Wade used the Greek letter mu in his book to stand for his great discovery, the Omega Wave. Thanks, Mortimer. You saved me a lot of time. Now I know there's a link between Wade and the yellow brand. Yes, but we still know virtually nothing about John Wade. We worship gladly at thy shrine, thou dazzling genius. We praise thy warm heart, open hand, and great wisdom. We would wither without thy generosity, thy goodness, and thy understanding. We live by thy light alone. We are thy humble servants. Nay, great Lord, we are thy slaves. <laughs> Delighted to make your acquaintance at last, old boy. Freeze, or I fire. Hold it. Hands up. I can't believe it. Mortimer, are you okay? Don't worry about me. Get after him. Ah. Captain Blake, Say. intelligence, follow that man. James, you will do no such thing. Harold, do something. Kindly show me your badge, Later, sir. if you like. Uh, Stop now and step on it, James. Uh, James! <laughs> there, there, Agatha. Don't be afraid. Jove, he escaped again. Unbelievable. He must have a hide like a tank to flatten a bullet like this. Or a strong field of force to protect him. That creature is superhuman. I've never seen anything cover the ground so fast. That reminds me of something I read in Wade's book. I'll check. That's odd. I'm sure I left it on the table last night. That's it. The yellow brand broke in to steal it. I think you're right. Every single thread we find breaks off in our hand, except Dr. Septimus. And he is the only soul in the whole wide world who knew we had that rotten book. That's true. I think we should keep an eye on him. First thing tomorrow, I'll ship him to the country under guard. You're quite sure this is necessary? I have a lot of work to do at the hospital. It can wait for a day or two. We can't protect you here. So we're taking you to one of our safe houses in the country. Once you're there, we can all relax. All aboard! isn't a scheduled stop. I'll check it out. You stay here. What else can I do? What's wrong? 
Why did we stop? I don't know. Maybe a slower train further down the line. Nothing serious. Don't worry. What's he done, the fool? Septimus! Ah. Oh, no, not again! Septimus! Septimus! Didn't you hear anything? Uh, no, sir. Come on. Over here, a track. Come and look. Fresh tire tracks. A car drove along here not long ago. What a nightmare, Mortimer. We must stop this lunatic. It'll be even harder now that we've lost Septimus. I don't care. I'm going to stop the Yellow Brand. I swear I will. I'm with you. But the first thing we have to do is find John Wade. Bernay, Macomber, Kelvin, and now Septimus. Our last lead swallowed up into thin air like the others. Greetings, Kendall. Glad to see you. Compliments of the season. Thank you. The same to you. No luck at all, Captain Blake. No sign of the yellow brand. Not a footprint, not a clue. Disappeared into thin air. Where do we go from here? Hold on. I had a wee idea. I talked to the man who used to do the books for Thornley. Thornley? Who's that? The house that published John Wade's masterpiece, The Mega Wave. All oh, right. You think he might be able to tell us who John Wade really is? Right first shot. What difference does that make? Ten to one, when we know Wade's real name. We'll know who's posing as the yellow brand inspector. This just arrived. It's addressed to you, sir. If you want to find out more about the yellow brand, I can help you. Meet me tonight at midnight, Limehouse Docks, Shed 22. Come alone. It's signed John Smith. He wants to be incognito. It's a trap. You're probably right. And if so, the best thing I can do is spring it. We might learn something about the yellow brand. Right. Let's do it. Now what? Attention all units. Remain in position and await my order. Over. Blake, Kendall here. Do you read? Over. I read you loud and clear, Kendall. I have the target in my sights. I'm signing off. Over and out. Professor Mortimer? That's right. I'm Wilbur James. You wanted to talk to me about the Wade case? I do indeed. Come in. I think I found what you're looking for. Capital. It's the contract that man Wade signed with Thornley. Oh, it's a nasty night. I wouldn't say no to a little nip. Help yourself. It's over there. Page 18, Clause 3. Hmm. 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 Nah. By the tartan of Clan McGregor. John Wade, alias Jonathan Septimus. 5 Tavistock Square, London. Septimus. I always say, for a good Scotch, go to a Scotsman. May I? Feel free. Scotland Yard, Mortimer. Put me through to Captain Blake or Inspector Kendall right away. It's urgent. 
You'll check with your superiors. There's no time for that, you dunderhead. What? Ah, go choke at a crumpet. Stupid Sasnach. A fine malt. Ah, from the Hebrides. Lock the door after you. Be careful, Professor. <laughs> Here, taxi. Tavis Dock Square and fast. In this fog, sir, I'll do what I can. Hmm. I'm inside the shed. Kendall, do you read me? <laughs> We're losing him. What's wrong with this thing? Blake! Blake! We'll give him five minutes and then we move. Smith! Smith, is that you? Answer me. I'm up here, Captain Blake. I've been waiting for you. Won't you come up and join me? Three o'clock. Alert all units. Smith? Over here. This is a real pea super. We're in Regent Street. We turn left at Oxford Circus. We have him now. I'd say we have a chance. Jump him, lads! They've got him! Ha! No! <laughs> oh. I have an idea. Nobody talks. Nobody stirs. Blake? Don't interfere. Please, can we talk? I'm no threat to you. Look, I'm not even armed. You have nothing to fear. Just put him down. We can work this out. Trust me, I promise we won't... <laughs> Patrol the banks! I want a man posted every 30 feet! Hold it! Look what I found! Do you think he drowned? I wouldn't believe it unless you showed me his corpse, and even then... All right, I'll tell them to keep looking. He jumped into the Thames, he'll have to come out. I mean, he hasn't got gills. Who knows what he has? Brand has assaulted an officer and stolen a police car. Fleet LLW 321. Red alert. Get here, right? He's dangerous. Who 
pull over, man. I'll go the rest of the way on foot. It'll be faster. I'm doing the best I can in this fog. Here you are. Huh? So this flippin' mine. Follow that car. What? Fifty pounds. Certainly. He drive like that. X-ray vision or what? Possibly. He's heading for Tavistock Square. I'm not surprised. Well. Suspenders. What a stink. Nearly caught. Yes, Master. Take your place. Yes. You expended too much energy and failed your mission. It is Septimus. The mega receiver needs recharging. Yes, Master. I was right. Voltage level ready. Condenser ready. Initiate procedure. <laughs> Flawless. Flawless as usual. How do you feel? Fine, Master. Oh, Rick. That's good. Go. Hello, Dr. Septimus. <gasps> I'm delighted to see you escaped from your kidnappers. Well, well, Professor Mortimer. What a surprise. <gasps> Take him! Macomba? Vernie? Calvin? No, no, no! Despite the threat of the yellow brand, Londoners are determined to celebrate Christmas. The shops are full to overflowing. It seems Father Christmas will make his rounds this year, as he always does. In Yorkshire, they're digging out from a record... That's all Mortimer said to you? Well, I said I'd have to check with my superiors, and, and he... Well, sir, he swore and hung up. Huh. I'm not surprised. What could he have found out that was so important? This is the yellow brand. Do accept my best wishes for a happy holiday. <laughs> Blake here. Of course I see it. I want a tracer on that transmitter now. Yet again, the leaders of this benighted country have shown us their utter incompetence. They have mobilized every police officer in these British Isles in order to capture me, the yellow brand, and I have made them a laughing stock among the nations. They haven't caught me yet, and they never will. Now, I wish to announce another coup. I have taken a hostage. Father Christmas. Oh no, that's Mortimer. For those of you who still believe in this bizarre personage, I have some unhappy news. I intend to execute him tonight at midnight. 
I don't believe this. He's out of his tree. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and a happy new year. Hmm. Almost got the point of origin. On time. Leave us alone. Yes, master. Get me out of this silly costume. Don't you like it? It suits you very well. And it's seasonal. <laughs> That's just one thing the Mega Wave can do, Professor. There are many others. So, this is the famous Mega Wave that John Wade describes in his book, An Amazing Achievement. It's my book, my Mega Wave. It's the discovery of the century. Oh, this modest too. Why should I be modest? With my Mega Wave, I can control minds from a distance. I can transform absolutely anyone into a docile slave with superhuman powers. Anyone, even cretins like McComber, Verne, and Calvin, as you discover to your cost. Those pinheads slandered me, and I have to go into exile in Egypt. That's where I found that poor, deluded creature. An ideal guinea pig for my experiments. I made him the yellow brand when I came back to London. But the yellow brand is nothing. I am the master. You miserable creature. You slinking worm. Yes, master. See that? He's a slave, a tool, useful, but no more. Out of my sight. Yes, master. That's right. Impressive, isn't it? But soon I won't need him anymore. Tomorrow, all of England will be my slave. Those vipers, I'll make them crawl to me. And then, and then, the whole world will acknowledge my genius. But you're totally mad, Septimus. Me? Mad? How dare you, you snake? I'll make you pay for that. You'll pay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, sir. Could I ask you a few questions? On Christmas night? Good heavens, officer. This is scandalous. Can't it wait until tomorrow? I'm at dinner. It's a disgrace. It's too bad they couldn't pinpoint the signal any better than that. It's better than nothing. And it's all we have to find, Mortimer. Power on, condenser ready. Bring Father Christmas, it's time. Yes, Master. Philip Mortimer. Not Father Christmas? I'm devastated. But I'll survive. Dr. Septimus is holding me prisoner. Septimus is the yellow brand. I repeat, Septimus is the yellow brand. <laughs> Merry Christmas, chum. <laughs> Father Christmas in the yellow brand. Now that's the fight of the century. There you are, Professor. You must obey me! I'm your master! <gasps> Stay away from me! You're insane! <gasps> Thirteen minutes. We'll make it. Trust me. Take the crown. It's yours. <laughs> no, please don't! I'll give you everything I have! I've waited for this moment for months. Now it's here, and I'm going to pay you back. No, please! I beg you! What you need is a tiny jolt of mega waves. <laughs> uh, but I have no helmet! Don't do it! I brought you out of the desert! Yes, to make me your slave, your I toy. Wait! We could do great things together! I have no need of you. Oh, free! I'm free at last! <laughs> 
Now I'll deal with Professor Mortimer. Professor Mortimer! Professor Mortimer! Where the blazes is the man? You see, Professor, I'm trying to respect Septimus's last wish. His swan song, you might call it. It's time we got rid of Father Christmas once and for all, don't you think? What a totally ridiculous character. I never believed in him, no. You're free again, and yet all you want to do is hurt people. <laughs> I'll dissolve you into atoms and pour you back into the primeval soup model. <laughs> <laughs> It. Well done! Blake, be careful. After him, lads! <laughs> Blake, wait for us! <laughs> What an unexpected pleasure! Hold it! Freeze! Damn it! Where does this door lead? To the sewers of London, Inspector. Well, old chap, you came in the nick of time. Then my watch must be I slow. Can't. I thought I had 20 seconds to spare. What are these ridiculous costumes? We look like circus performers. I demand an explanation! Oh, look at this. God save the Queen! God save the Queen! Well, Blake, old chap, I think we've seen the last of the Yellow Brand. That's true, but perhaps not the last of Ulrich. <laughs> <laughs>